here and we should have just finished up with our two-year-old visit and um, the purpose of these videos is to go over some of the things that we didn't get to spend enough time on in the office and also please continue to share these with these the the folks that weren't with you at the appointment so that way um, everyone can kind of be on the same page about uh, what we're talking about and what's going on um, the grandparents uh, love seeing these things which is was great we love the feedback that we've been getting on them all right, so first things first, now that we've made it to two years old, uh, again, this age is a ton of fun. And I hope you had a birthday party. I hope you did. You know, uh, in my family, we love to celebrate milestones and get to do um, big celebrations and things like that. But sometimes there's just small, quaint little things. And that's great too. But anything you can do to help kind of build those family routines, uh, the kids are going to love them as they continue to get older. And it's, and it's important to celebrate this stuff. I mean, you guys have been through a lot in the past couple of years. And uh, right now you should be feeling like this is cool, you know, still, which is, which is really, really great. So people talk about this terrible two thing. And hopefully what you're finding is, is that over the past six months, since 18 months, you've been consistent in the way you parent and what your expectations are. And sure, the tantrums and stuff are there, but a lot of people too will look back and they'll say, no, no, that 18 months was worse than two. And if two is worse for you, um, congratulations. I, I had one of those two, uh, which is fine, which is fine. It really does get, get better with some time, which is really cool. Okay, so uh, when it comes to developmental milestones at two, there's a ton of things that are going on. Um, the, the first thing is, is that the, you notice that the kids can play kind of along other children. So at 18 months, so just go back a couple months ago, you know, if you're walking around at the park with a kid, you're playing, it's a lot of you following them around and kind of um, just kind of closely supervising them. But a two-year-old will actually find another two-year-old and they won't play together, they'll play next to each other, okay? So so that is okay, um, but you know, and, and that's, that's great. If they will interact with other kids, then sure, they're socially more advanced than others. Um, but if they really don't wanna do that, they don't wanna chase each other around on the playground or um, interact with each other, and that, that's pretty normal at this point. Um, those kinds of things that you're thinking, like with playing with other kids, uh, that really is an older thing, like three, four and beyond and stuff like that, which, uh, which makes uh, family time uh, really kind of cool. When you can get together, um, I, I'll never forget when like, we, we finally hit that age when the kids were um, at, able to play with each other at Thanksgiving or something, and we're like, like wow, this is cool. They they can like entertain themselves, and we can have a conversation for twenty minutes. It's 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 really really great when that starts to happen later on. Uh, at this age, they should be starting to take off some of their clothes. They should be using a spoon really really well, um, and uh, with very very minimal spillage and things like that. Uh, forks and knives, uh, not yet. Okay, not yet. Especially not the knives. But uh, but yeah, the other stuff should be great. Uh, when it comes to talking, they should have more than 50 words. Okay, 50 plus, you should really have a hard time kind of counting them. And they should start putting two word sentences together. So they should be able to tell, put two words together like, you know, um, you know, ball me or, you know, um, uh, <laughs> yogurt, you know, uh, lunch, you know, things like that. Those are the kinds of things that should be going together a little bit at this age. And what's also kind of cool is that strangers, when they talk to a two-year-old, should understand about half of what they say. Kind of cool. Two, okay, um, at two, you should understand two-fourths of what a kid says, so about half. Um, at three, it should be three-fourths, okay, or about three-quarters of what a kid says. And then by the time you're four, it should be four-fourths, or a stranger should understand 100% of what a four-year-old says, okay, which is really kind of cool. Uh, they should be able to follow some two-step commands, like, you know, hey, pick up your toys and put them in the box, okay? Or, you know, um, <laughs> some, some adults have a hard time with two-step commands too, and uh, you know, but that, that's okay. But, uh, but at this age, you should be working on some of those things. Uh, they should be able to identify five body parts. Some kids can do even more than that. And they should be able to kick balls. They should be able to jump and maybe get both feet off the ground. When they jump, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a step, kind of like that. Uh, and then they should be able to climb up the ladder at the playground. That's a very solid two-year-old milestone. They should be able to stack things on top of each other and then operate doors and latches and things like that. So this is the age, if they were in their room, in their bed, uh, in the toddler bed, this is the age that they'll start to climb out of their room more. Um, so just, just you know, then that's okay. And then when they draw, uh, you should be able to make lines and stuff like that. And they'll think that that stuff is a lot of fun. So at two, uh, when it comes to eating, you know, remember, most kids are pretty picky at this age. They don't seem to eat very much. They seem to be very selective on what they eat, and that's okay. Again, they don't have to, um, they don't have to eat a whole lot to continue to grow. And at two, now we're gonna switch over to the two-year-old growth chart. 
So when you're, when you're in the office, you're gonna see that what happens is, is that too, your height continues to go up at a straight line, okay? And then they hit puberty and then they start to level off. With their weight, their weight is doing kind of the opposite. Their weight stays really kind of even and flat for a while, slowly starts to pick up, and then right around eight, nine, 10, a weight goes up and then starts to level off some. That's a really normal thing that's supposed to happen at this age. So um, that's why they don't need to eat very much because they're not gaining very much weight. So the funny thing is two-year-olds are picky, four-year-olds are picky. I have not met a kindergartner that is not a picky eater, okay? And when you talk to parents in kindergarten, they'll say, yeah, tell me about your kid. How do they eat? And they'll oh my goodness, they barely eat anything at all. And that's a normal kind of thing. You talk to the parent of a 10-year-old and they're like, oh my goodness, this kid eats all the time. And, it's, and that's okay. That's what we're supposed to expect at this point. And so, so again, don't fight fights with food. Um, just you, this is what we're eating and then boom, that's it. Have a nice day, we're done. All right, so at two, um, they should be working on toilet training and things like that. So, and toilet training is a two to three kind of a thing, okay? So, um, the, 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 so really see where your kid is when it comes to um, how to pick this fight. Now, there are some kids that are at two, they're really ready to go. There are other kids that are closer to three. And if and, and if they're if you're gonna fight about this and it's gonna be tantrums and upsetness, then really just wait, just wait. It's, it's, it's not worth the fight then. But if they're showing some interest, especially if they are dry at night, you know, and they're waking up dry in the morning, then maybe we're ready for it. Um, none of my three children were dry overnight when we decided to toilet train. So there's a lot of different ways that you can do it. And really the best thing, so the best advice that I have for you on this is number one, don't worry about nighttime, okay? So remember, 10% of five-year-olds wet the bed every night. So in a kindergarten class with 30 kids in it, there are three of them at least that are wet in the bed every night. And so don't fight that fight, okay? Just just, just, don't, just don't, don't try and do that at this point. Uh, Pull-ups or diapers at night, that's totally fine. Nothing to worry about. And then during the daytime, okay, you can do whatever you want. Now we use this thing you can find on the internet. It's kind of cool. It's called the three-day toilet training or three-day potty training guide. Um, we, we know families that we've handed that off to and they loved it. And then others that are like, oh, what did you do? That was terrible. So, so, so go for it. But the basic idea is, is that we're gonna spend a couple days completely dedicated where it's just parent and child, okay? And uh, we're gonna uh, put some blankets on the couches and towels or whatever. And we're gonna say, all right, we're gonna run around the house, you know, in a pair of underwear, that's it. And um, as soon as the kid starts to have an accident, starts to go, you're gonna pick them up and run into the bathroom and then put them in the toilet. And if they sit there, it's, yay, you did it. That was really, really great. Um, so uh, yeah, so that, that's really cool. Uh, and the first day that you do it, okay, it is let the kid drink whatever you want. Okay, this is this is your day for white grape juice. This is your day for all this other stuff like that. And you let them drink and drink and drink all day. Why? Because if they pee 300 times a day on that first day, it's a lot of opportunity for success. Okay, which is really cool. Day number two is kind of the same thing. Okay, and then now the question is, is okay, let's let you drink and we'll run around our underwear. Hey, let's go sit on the toilet. Let's go sit on the toilet every half hour, every hour. And we're just trying to work on it. And if they do go to the bathroom, then they get something like a sticker, um, food, candy. Yeah, sure. Stickers are great. Okay, little things like that. Um, and what was really funny, so my, my oldest, uh, you know, we would talk about the potty train. We're going to do the potty train. So, and she would talk about it. She was great with it. Okay. And then the second one was born. And now, you now the second, the first one's four ish, and the second one is two ish. And the four year old draws this thing. It's, it's the potty train. It's a train, you know, on like the train tracks. And every time you got a new sticker for it, and she, the whole time, apparently she's like, yeah, when I was two, I was thinking it was a train of some kind. It's hilarious. You know? So yeah, kids are so much fun at this age. So yeah. So I have a really good time with it, which is great. So day number two, uh, they, they drink, uh, just as much. And, uh, and now we're, we're triggering them. We're trying to get them to go. Okay. And then day number three is now we don't drink anything. Okay, and we are, okay, let's go to the bathroom and you go and hopefully you've had a couple days of success. And then after that, you can try going out. So I consider to be toilet trained when you can leave the house, not in a diaper and, and be dry. So, so that's what we consider to be toilet training. Don't worry about nighttime. You know, that's something that we'll talk about uh, if we're still having issues, you know, after five and definitely after 10 years of age. Okay, so yeah, so that's great. So toilet training, give it a shot, see how it goes. If it doesn't work out for you, um, what I prefer you do is don't start toilet training unless you're willing to commit to it. So if you go at, through, go at this and say, if it doesn't work out, we'll try it again in a couple of weeks. No, 
let's make sure we're ready and let's just do it, okay? Um, and, and also when to do it, you know, do it before three if you can. Um, and uh, you've got to do it before you go to college. Okay, so, so sometime between two and three is great. Uh, toilet training in the winter time can be a very difficult thing to do because there's so much clothes with accidents and stuff like that. So the spring is a perfect time to start messing with these kinds of things. So, so give it a try, see how it goes. Um, okay, at two, when we talk about um, eating again, let's back up a little bit, sorry. Um, juice and things like that but again mostly water okay we really need mostly water and if you want to switch to two percent milk two percent milk is okay again vitamins if you really want to do vitamins and stuff you can um a multivitamin and then a, a vitamin with vitamin d in it you know that's perfectly fine but if you choose not to do vitamins you really don't have to just make sure they don't choke on it uh and then the time for the dentist at two yep let's, this is the age that we say to go to the dentist now what's really cool about the dentist is, is that some dentists um they they'll see you at two they'll count their teeth and say hey check it out uh, other times when we, the, the dentist will say, nope, I don't want to see it till you're three or four or five ish or something like that. And that's cool. So talk to your dentist and see how that goes. Um, if you need a recommendation on a dentist, um, you know, ask your friends. Uh, we've, we've loved our family dentist for a long time. I've had wonderful experiences with our kids and with the adults. Uh, and then uh, there are pediatric dentists in town and they do great, especially kids that are a little bit more um, reluctant to go to the dentist, uh, a little more worried about that stuff. You know, these guys are great. They're they're basically pediatricians for dentists, which uh, they got a little bit better uh, skills with handling those things. But uh, but yeah, get some get some recommendations that are out there. Okay, and then now that we're two, uh, we're playing a lot more uh, bikes, things like that. You know, uh, are a little bit harder. Three-year-olds can do tricycles. Two-year-olds probably not with those kinds of things. But now is a great age to get in the habit of helmets. So the rule in our family when it comes to helmet is, is any time you're on something that rolls, you have to wear a helmet and when we go sledding, okay? And I, and I know um, some people are like, ah, whatever, but you just gotta be safe, okay? You only have one brain. So we wear helmets every time we're out. So if they're, if, and that means you too, okay? So if your kids are, if I see you on the trail, okay? And you're out, Constitution Trail, and your kids are out riding their bikes and they're wearing their helmets and you're not wearing yours, dad, I'll say something. <laughs> that, that's okay, everybody wears their helmet. Um, get a cozy one, um, that, that's, that's great. Okay, and then the last thing is, is now that we're two, you know, you've had two years of experience with this, um, especially when it comes to like infections and doctor's visits and things like that. So colds and things like that continue to happen at, at this age. It's gonna happen quite a bit. So, and as the baby gets older, kid gets older, you're gonna notice that less of those things. So same, kind of the same rules apply. There is no fever number that we're worried about, you know, 101 versus 102 or three, but it's really how they're acting. So at this age, as they get older, they have a snotty nose, cold congestion for a couple days, yeah, you know, that that's pretty normal. Most of the time when you have a virus, it's a day or two of it bad, and then it slowly starts to get better. But if the symptoms really aren't getting better or they're concerning to you, or if you're having fever longer than three days, that's a temperature over 101 for greater than three days, then yeah, it's time to come on into the office with those things. But again, anytime you're concerned, just let us know. Okay, so two, again, lots of fun. There's a lot of things that are happening at this age. So uh, the next time that we'll see you guys is generally around three. Okay, so uh, we will, we always offer a two and a half year old visit, but we like to use those that if at two, we're not hitting all of those developmental milestones. So if you don't have enough words, you know, um, or you're kind of on the fence, then we'll say, yep, we'll see you at two and a half. That's great. If not, uh, we'll see you guys at three or sooner if there's any issues. Again, thanks for your time and uh, we'll see you guys at three. Enjoy this age. Thank you.